Hey guys, this is Revy Goldwasser, and this video is all about TikTok. I'm going to give you 10 TikTok tips, try saying that a few times, in reference of how to start and what it's all about, and should you get on or should you not. I'm here to tell you that the answer to that is absolutely yes. I have gone from zero to 14,900 as of today, from December 19th, 2019, to April 6th, 2020. So you're talking in three and a half months, I already have nearly 15,000 followers, and I'm growing every single day. So if you're ready to get on TikTok, this video is for you. Hey everyone, this is Ravi Goldwasser and we're going to begin right now with 10 TikTok tips for you to get on TikTok and go from zero to 10,000 followers in 90 days or less. So let's talk about TikTok in general. The first thing that you need to understand is what is TikTok? So obviously it's a, it's a Musical.ly app. It started like that and it's changed a few times, but right now it's just an incredible app that's all about videos. And the two main concepts on, on TikTok is there's what's called following page, which is basically the followers that you have that you see their feed much like Instagram. But then there's something really cool called FYP for you page and FYP is like your own discovery channel that basically the TikTok algorithm figures out what you like or what type of content to present to you and that's basically when you can become famous so the goal of TikTok of any content creator any person who's coaching teaching or just wants to have fun is to get on the FYP page because the FYP page is how you basically explode so that's basically the goal of what you want to do you want to get on the FYP page and that has happened to me already a few times so it can happen again I talk about uh, what's my contact empowerment of women divorce dating after divorce knowing your worth I mean this is serious content for women and men 40 and over so think about my content so if I already have almost 15,000 followers and a very active tribe you should see the comments and the likes and the engagements you will be blown away so definitely just get on TikTok so the second tip of course after understanding that there's the following page and the FYP page, the second tip is download the app. So how do you start? You go to the app store, you download TikTok and you just create an account. It's really that simple. Don't be afraid. Don't be intimidated. And for goodness sake, do not listen to what other people say. You know, initially everyone's like, oh, it's for kids. It's for little children. They're just making jokes and they're dancing and blah, blah, blah. It was my son's uh, both Michael and Jacob, my sons, 18 and 21, they're the ones that kept pushing me to do it. They're like, mom, just do it. Mom, just do it. Because I made a commitment for 2020 to basically get online, to basically create my space and make my tribe. And it's so hard to do it on Instagram and YouTube and Twitter, even though I'm doing all of those things, Pinterest, et cetera. It's really, really hard to penetrate those platforms because they're so saturated. Uh, TikTok is like the wild, wild west, guys. Like nobody is really on it. So they're like dying for content. So it, it, you're going to get basically presented to so much talent, just to so many TikTokers on a global level. So just download the app open the account and just do it. So that's tip number two is download that. Number three, I definitely recommend if you're a content creator, and again, if you're really you know, going out there, if you're a coach, if you're an educator, you have a business, an e-com store, whatever it is, immediately create what's called a pro account. So if you go on the a top right corner, there's these three little dots, you click on it, it goes under manage account. You click on manage account, and it basically just says switch to pro, just like Instagram, and it takes exactly one second. So definitely do that, and the, and the reason anyone should do that, not just some Somebody who's obviously uh, has a business uh, element to their to you know to their TikTok account is that it does create analytics. It creates analytics both for your entire account and it also creates analytics per post as well. It does take a couple of days to start populating that, and it's usually a one-day lag. Like right now, if I would go to the analytics on my page, it would be through yesterday. It wouldn't be through today, but who cares? Like it gives me information on how many people are viewing, what my men and women ratio is. It's huge. Like let's say I want to start advertising on my account. This is, you know, evidence, quantifiable data that my account has X amount of women to men. And I think my ratio today is 87% women and around 12, 13% men. So that's really big because again, my focus is very much empowerment of women. And it also shows which views are trend, which uh, videos are trending, where the people are from. My predominant uh, demographics is America, almost 60%. But I have Canada, I have England, UK, I have um, 
Australia, and believe it or not, I have um, a, a United Arab Emirates. I mean, who would have figured, right? Incredible. So I definitely recommend that you get a pro account. So that's number three. Number four, before you start posting, the way TikTok works, especially when you're a newbie and you're a beginner, they basically, because they don't know you, they're going to figure out who you really are based on the first five vi videos. That's based on the research that I've done. So those first five videos make you what I call the SME, right? The subject matter expert and authoritarian in that space. So if you want to obviously talk about the sky and then COVID-19, which is what we're dealing with right now, and then, you know, maybe the internet or maybe like marriage and pets, you're not really going to be an SME in anything, but if you are very focused on investing or you're very focused on real estate or you're very, very focused on what I do, women's empowerment, you know, starting over after divorce, you know, all those things, sense of self-worth, I become an SME in that space. So what I recommend you do those first five videos, create them and save them in draft and then literally post them all in a row. <clears throat> I would rather you take a couple days to post it, uh, uh, prepare it, and then post it because you come in in such a bang that right away TikTok will know, wow, this person is really focused in this space. And what that does, it teaches the algorithm to push your content when ultimately, ultimately it gets to the FYP page, right? Push your content to people that love that material as well because everything is based on their AI, on their artificial intelligence. So if you're clear in your videos as to what demographics and content that you want, once you start gaining momentum, and trust me, you will. I promise you, you will. It's, it's not that hard as long as you're consistent and your message is good, obviously, and you are making impact and adding value, you will see that you'll start creating your own tribe, okay? So that's my recommendation on that. The next one, I have a list here, so forgive me if I'm not looking at you. Um, sounds. The other big thing with TikTok is that it's, it's a music app. So TikTok became became famous because of music. So I strongly, strongly recommend to always use music. I don't always do it. You guys can check out my TikTok account, by the way, fearlesswoman.co. I don't always use it, but once you start having fun on TikTok, and by the way, you will become a TikTok addict when once you start getting on it and you start going through, you know, your own FYP page and the videos come, four hours will be like in one second. You're gonna be like, oh my God, I started at noon and it's four in the afternoon. And you're like, what happened? Because that's how amazing TikTok is. It's, it's real and it's raw and it's authentic. So what really makes it special is the music. They have like authorized music that you can use without being worried about being copyright issues and you can use that and it makes the video so much more moving. Everyone knows music creates emotion. I strongly recommend it. You can put music only and then just use copy and captions on your videos. I've done that and they've been phenomenal. So you're kind of dancing, you're kind of pointing your fingers. You're going to see like with me, I do a lot of pointing fingers and I create copy and text. And by the way, the video editor on TikTok is so easy. They make it so simple. It's just, it's just amazing. I just, I'm like, I'm in love. I, I'm having a love affair with TikTok, honestly. And so are a lot of other people that are on it. Um, so you can do the music and then kind of do captions to get your message out there. Or you can have the music very um, low in the background. It allows you under the sound to adjust the settings for your voice as well as the soundtrack. So you can make your soundtrack like level eight or nine, your voice at 80 or 90, and then you have a beautiful um, video that you're talking with background music in the end. So I highly recommend it. The next one is, oh, recording time. Uh, tip number six. Recording time, this is really a big growth hack as well on TikTok, the recording time. So basically it gives you two options on the bottom, 15 seconds or 60 seconds. Now, especially at the beginning, what TikTok values a lot is what's called replay. And what happens with TikTok, unlike Instagram and probably unlike YouTube, is that when the video ends, it automatically starts again. It, it has like a, a rolling feature that it goes on and on and on. The more times it auto replays, the more TikTok algorithm AI says, wow, this video is good because it's so good you're watching it again and you're watching again. But the trick is that you want it to be a shorter video because if you do a 15 second video, then that auto replay starts much faster, right? But if you're doing a one minute video, it's, it, it, you might, may not get the chance that they'll review it that much. So when you're starting out, at, at, especially at the beginning, I do recommend doing 15 seconds. You can do as short as seven. I think TikTok uh, makes it seven seconds is, is the shortest period of time, which works. You can have just one little statement and, and it could take off and be viral and give you the five million views, which happens all the time. 
So definitely the, the length of the video is critical, especially at the beginning, because the replay is a strong indicator to TikTok to see if your content is valuable and you want them to be the auto replay. So as a little trick, a growth hack is make the videos short at the beginning. Okay, what's next on my list? Number seven, like. Okay, so the cool thing about TikTok, like we have in everything, is you can like. And by the way, it's all hearts. They had a couple of weeks ago that they tested, thank God they got rid of it. They had thumbs up and thumbs down like YouTube. It was a disaster. No one's going to do thumbs down. I mean, I, I believe that in genuine, genuinely people are good people and they're not going to, they're not going to give you a thumbs down. So it was kind of like wasted TikTok real estate space, if you want to call it. And they got rid of it. They put the hearts back, which I really love. But here's another growth hack tip to you guys. What's so cool about TikTok, what they do is like, you can like a comment or let's say I, I, you can like a comment, but what happens, let's say somebody comments on a video I have and they like, and I like it. I'll come back to that video two weeks later and the red uh, color is gone. Now it does show, let's say four likes and probably I was one of those four likes, but it's no longer colored in. TikTok is smart. Why? Because when I get to like it again, which it allows me to do, the person who made the comments, like, who's this fearless woman liking my comment? I don't remember. They come back. But now from the two weeks ago that they made a comment that I liked to now, I've maybe posted another 10 new videos. And they're like, whoa. And then they start watching all my new videos. That's really good because they're a returning customer and hopefully that makes them then follow. So that liking is really important, but not just liking a comment that somebody makes on your video today. Make sure to go back to your previous videos and you will see the likes. The red is gone. The, the filling it in is gone. So like it again. Don't, don't be shy. Don't be like, oh, they're going to think I'm bothering them. No, you're not. They've already forgotten about you most likely. There's a zillion videos on there. Like that comment again. If TikTok removes your like, because they want you to basically go back and like kind of poke the person and say, yo, come back to me and check it out. So that's the like one. Number tip number eight is comments. So we talked about the likes and the comments, but here's the deal with the comments. Every person that comments on your video, guys, you should reply to it. I Absolutely, because you are nurturing your tribe and because you're brand new and you're trying to go from that zero, you know, zero to 10,000 followers in 90 days or less. This is what I did at least. This was my success. Every single comment I reply to and then I like my own comment. Every single one. There was not one comment I didn't. And just as a good best practices, I would just like every week. I'll go back to the very beginning of my videos. I'll go all the way back to December 19th and I'll open each video. I'll make my cup of coffee and I'll sit down on my couch and I make sure that every single comment out there is replied to. And with something substantial, like I'll, I'll reply, I'll make a comment, I'll really give to them. I'm, I'm nurturing my tribe, right? I'm watering my tribe like a, like a flower, like a plant. I want my tribe to grow. How do you make your tribe grow? You water it, you nurture it, you take care of it, you give it a lot of love. And I want to help these women. I mean, you should see the comments I'm getting in my stuff, like 25 year marriage, finally left him, verbal abuse, emotional abuse. Like my stuff is heavy duty guys. So again, if I'm on TikTok with, you know, fearless women tribe, but emotional abuse, verbal abuse, women's empowerment, divorce, coaching. It's, it's like adult material and I'm getting like people are on there. It's, it's absolutely incredible. So make sure on the comments that you really nurture back and you will be amazed as you know, the minute I comment and they like my comment, I, the next action they take is they follow me. It's the most amazing thing. You just, you just got to give them a little love, man. And I, you got to want to give them the love, but when they see that they right away will follow you. So that's what you want. Ah, oh, sharing. Number 10, my last tip, my last tech, TikTok tip, TikTok tip, top 10 TikTok tips. That's like five T's. That's really hard. Anyway, my last tip is sharing. So how again does uh, TikTok really value your content and ultimately push you to the FYP page, right? And by the way, I will have a separate video on the four uh, methods, the four steps that TikTok takes in order to push you ultimately to FYP. So look, look out for that in my videos. And by the way, please like, subscribe. I will have, by the way, before I forget, on the bottom of my notes, a Calendly link for a free initial consult. If you want to learn more about TikTok, we can spend 20 minutes for free and see if I am somebody that can help you. I am doing that right now because bottom line, I was brand new. I learned so much in the last three and a half months that I know that I can absolutely bring value to you when it comes to your TikTok presence. And again, my biggest tip out of anything is just start. So anyway, back to sharing. Sharing is probably the most important thing 
Um, I just like Instagram is when you when somebody shares the content, like there's a button on TikTok that allows you to share the content. TikTok loves that because it clearly means that not only did that person like what you had to say, but they want now a friend to see it as well. So really make sure your content adds value. Like the more your content adds value, the more likely the person watching it will share it. They can share it to a friend, they can share it on SMS, they can put it on Facebook, on Instagram to themselves. There's like 20 different ways to share on TikTok. I mean, they make it so, so easy. So definitely make your content valuable that it will be shared. And if you have, again, an analytics account on each prof on each video, it actually will show you how many likes, how many views, and how many shares there are. So that is a way, because on your own account, it doesn't show you how many shares there are. Like you can, like I sometimes use my son's account to view my account, and it then tells me on my videos, obviously I log in, I go to his phone to, and view my account, and I can see that, but I just a few weeks ago discovered on the analytics for each video, it does say how many shares there are. And, and the, the more shares there are, the more likely your content will get pushed to the FYP page. So it's really all about FYP page. All right, guys, so that kind of wraps it up really fast. 10 TikTok tips to go from zero to 10,000 followers in 90 days or less. Please sign up on my Calendly link here below if you're interested in working with me to help you, you know, coach you through the TikTok um, labyrinth. It's actually a lot of fun. It is a little, um, there's, there's a lot of things I'm still learning, but I certainly feel like I've, I'm having so much fun with it. I figured it out and I built my tribe. By the way, by the way, for all those of you that stayed at the end, I just got my first coaching client from TikTok. She just signed up for a $500 coaching session to work with me on women's empowerment, and she came from TikTok. So for those people that think TikTok's a waste of time, I'm here to tell you that you're absolutely wrong. Don't listen to what they say. Never be influenced by what, by what they say and what they're saying. It's incorrect. Always do your own research. Always do your due diligence. Get on TikTok and come find me, and I look forward to seeing your TikTokers. See you soon, guys. Bye.